Welcome to the fourth part of the firework tutorial. We're going to now put the finishing details to our firework display. We're going to start that off with sound. So open up the project where we left off after part three and go to the sound tab. Now if you look in the sounds tab you'll see I've already added the sound effects I want to use. So you could go to my project in the scratch account and you could backpack these sound effects or you could make your own with the microphone or you could just find your own sound effects. I've got four sound effects for when the fireworks launch, just so I've got a bit of variety. That was my favourite. I've got a big crackle for when they burst into fragments and a small crackle for when the fragments burst. And so now let's go into the code and over where we launch the firework I'm going to start the sound of it could be any of those four, so I'm going to use a random number between one and four. So we'll play a sound when it's launched. When it bursts into fragments, which is here, I'm going to play another sound. And this sound is going to be a crackle big. And when the fragment bursts into a star, I'm going to play another sound. And that's going to be crackle small. So let's see how that goes. Excellent, except you may have noticed some fireworks went off the bottom of the screen and still crackled. So I think if any firework goes off the bottom of the screen, then it should be removed. And that's easy to do. We'll just add an if statement and we'll check to see if the y value with the y coordinate has gone off the bottom of the screen. And so if y is less than minus 180, and I can duplicate this delete firework code and we'll delete the firework and we'll stop the script and I'll put that in just above where it does a drawing. And so now if I have a firework going off and it went off the bottom of the screen, didn't crackle. So that's excellent. And at this point I think I'm going to subtly change the look of my fireworks. I mean overall I really like them but I think we could have some that are flying a little bit lower. So instead of 12.0, I'm going to make this 11.0. And I think the actual stars could fly, some of them are dropping too quickly. So I'll have the minimum speed as 2.0 instead of 0.0. .0. And I might also change the size of the fireworks a little. The main rocket I like. The fragments I think could be a little bit bigger. So instead of five, I'll set the pen size to six. And the stars I think could be a lot bigger, so instead of two, I'll set it to four. And let's have a look at that. Yeah, I like that. The, the star bursts are much more vivid now. So, is this a display? Well, not really. Would you go to a display with one rocket? I think we're going to need more fireworks. So I'm going to add a, a receiver. When I receive launcher, I'm going to remove the launching code from here. So launch firework and start sound will go into the new receiver and I will add a broadcast in its place, a broadcast launcher. So right now it's doing the same thing. It's going to launch, start a sound and then it will do the update fireworks loop. But if I put this into a forever loop, it's going to keep launching fireworks and if I add it, a pause at the end it will launch a firework every second and because it's a broadcast and not a broadcast and wait it will carry on launching them while the other code continues into the update all fireworks so both sections of code will be running at the same time so let's have a look now this is getting more like a display now But it's far too regular. You wouldn't expect every second of firework to go off. So instead of that, I'm going to make it random. I'm going to make it random between 0.0, .0 so some fireworks go off very quickly after each other, up to 0.4, so there's almost a half second between others. And let's have a look. Now that is quite spectacular. 
Now on a slower computer, it may be struggling to do so many fireworks. So add a bigger pause or reduce the fragments and just tweak it so it's doing less work. On a really powerful computer, you might be able to increase it if you wanted. Well, there's one more thing. Why are fireworks always coming from the same spot? Maybe it'd be nice to scatter them around a bit. So instead of having the X coordinate in the middle of the screen, we'll change that to a random value between minus 150 and 150. And I'll do one more thing. I'm going to go to the backdrop. And you, you're not going to have fireworks during the day. What I'm going to do here is change my colour to black. And I'm going to draw a rectangle to fill the screen. So now the background is dark, so it's a nighttime firework display. Let's go back to our code. And I think now we're going to have multiple fireworks. We're going to have multiple colours. We're going to be come from different places at the bottom of the screen. Let's go to full screen and let's have a look. So that is looking quite spectacular, but there's still there's too much crackling for my life. You might like this. I personally want to reduce the crackling a little bit. It's just a little bit too much. I like the big crackle. I'm going to take out the small crackle. So we don't have a sound effect when the star is launched. Go to full screen and let's have a look at that. And that I really like. So you can see we've made a dramatic firework display. We haven't used any sprites at all. We've done it all with a pen. So even if you can't draw really nicely, you can make some fantastic effects like this. You can tweak these around, you could change the pause values, you can change the colours, you can change the sizes. There's so many things you could play around with with this firework display. You could add music in the background. You can do whatever you want with it from this point onwards. So I hope you've really enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, don't forget to follow the Rock Coder YouTube channel. And... I'll see you again next time.